Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is my birthday, and if you've been following along, you know that last year on my birthday, I made the bologna from Turkey and the Wolf. And uh, two years before that, I made the tomato. Well, I'm going to do something different this year from Turkey and the Wolf flavor tripping in New Orleans. We're going to make the collard greens melt. But to do this, we've got to go back to yesterday. Hey, Barry, from yesterday. Yeah? Do you mind firing up those collard greens? Yeah, no problem. And uh, hey, happy birthday. Thanks, man. Why do you look so much older than me? I'm literally one day old. You know, just make the greens. Okay, sorry. First thing we do is melt some butter in a Dutch oven. Now we add in chopped garlic and cook it for about a minute. Now we add in salt, sugar, chicken soup base, Creole seasoning, gochugaru chili flakes of Korean, Louisiana hot sauce, I'm using crystal. Give that a little mix up real quick. And then add in water. Oh, and I almost forgot, rice wine vinegar and red wine vinegar. And now we bring that to a simmer. Meanwhile, we chop up collard greens into one to two inch pieces. I'm doing a half batch, so this is only two bunches of collard greens. It calls for four, which, boy, that's a lot. Okay, now that it's at a simmer, we start adding in the collard greens one handful at a time until they wilt, then add another handful, and so on and so forth. All right, now the full recipe says to cook for two and a half hours on a low simmer. I'm gonna check after an hour since I'm only doing a half, but yeah, now we wait. Well, since we're waiting on the collard greens, why don't we go ahead and make our spicy Russian dressing that we'll need for the sandwich. First thing we do is we add uh, chopped hot cherry peppers to Duke's mayonnaise. We add ketchup, gochugaru chili flakes, which is Korean chili flakes, Louisiana style hot sauce, I'm using crystal, salt, black pepper, smoked paprika. Get that all combined. We'll let this set up overnight in the fridge to get all those flavors married together. And now we're going to make the coleslaw. Uh, Mason says that he likes his cold, so we're going to make it today and let it sit in the fridge as well. So we got Duke's mayonnaise, add in some uh, white vinegar, salt, black pepper, thinly sliced white onion, and we start adding in our shredded cabbage. And he says to get in there and massage the cabbage and the dressing together so the cabbage breaks down. All right, see you tomorrow, coleslaw. Okay, we're back to my birthday, and uh, we've got to toast up three slices of rye bread. Uh, my pan only fits two. Butter it on each side, thank you. And while we're at it, we're to heat up some of our collard greens uh, with a little of its uh, pot liquor, as they say. Now we take two of the slices and cover with Swiss cheese. Then under the broiler for a minute or two to get a little melty. Okay, now we top one cheesy toast with a handful of coleslaw. Another slice of cheese toast. Our collards. Then we slather the Russian dressing onto the third piece of toast. And boom. Okay, let's give this collard melt a go. So good. Between those collard greens, which are slightly spicy, perfectly seasoned, delicious, plays off of the Swiss cheese, the nuttiness of the Swiss cheese, and then the coleslaw. This is bringing a nice crunch, a little bit of onion, a little bit of cabbage, and then that cherry pepper Russian dressing is adding a little bit of kick to it. Ah. Oh. That is a 10. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I want to add to this to make it better. There's nothing I think you could add to this to make it better. That's not to say you couldn't add stuff to it. You certainly could. But to me, uh, one of the great things about Chef Mason Hereford is he thinks about layers of flavor and having them reveal themselves as you bite through the sandwich. So at one point you get the collard greens and then right after that you get a little bit of nuttiness from the Swiss cheese. Then you taste that slaw, but then you taste the, the Russian dressing and it's all in that caraway toast. So good. So amazingly good. I am uh, I'm definitely going to finish that. And since I've got some more collard greens left over, I might make another this week. Birthday week, why not? <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.